Hi, my name is Derek Miller. I'm the senior pastor at River Valley Christian Fellowship in Bourbonnais, and our service times on Sunday mornings are at 9.30 and 11 a.m. What I love about our church, most of all, are the people. The people from all different demographics and backgrounds, people that have multiple differences of stories and what God has done. I believe the the sharing of faith stories and the journey that God has put us on together uh, makes uh, what I love about our church uh, most attractive and what the Lord is doing in the hearts of people, uh, no matter who they are, where they come from. He is working with us where we are and taking us to places we would never go otherwise. I've been part of River Valley Christian Fellowship, first of all, as an attender. 30 years ago, I began attending our church. I also began serving, my wife and I serving in student ministries for a number of years. And then God continued to make room for calling and gifts to allow me to serve the church, both in a part-time pastoral position and now for 20 years full-time at the same church. So I'm blessed to have seen the work of God, the people of God coming together over a lot of years with a lot of change. And so we've seen the, the mission that God has placed us on. Of course, we all share the same mission with every church, that we are to make disciples of all nations, that we are to baptize and we are to teach. We believe over the years that God has uh, called us, uh, our heart is for the gathering of the church, and then also for the community in which we exist. So God has allowed us to partner with some wonderful organizations within the community where we can serve and to grow and to serve the mission that God has placed us on together. So we've never seen ourselves as a church, as an island unto itself. We see ourselves in cooperation with all the other churches in our community, as well as the organizations that are on this mission that Christ has called us to. And so over the years, we have called our mission recently, most recently, Connect Six, and it envisions all of us having gospel influence in the lives of six people that God has placed in the sphere of influence that God has given us. We uh, have been serving and equipping people to be on that mission, to think about the people around them and uh, how that we may share life in such a way that we could have gospel influence that God can use from conversations to prayer to doing good works in His name to draw people closer to Him. That is the mission that we believe that He has called us to and with the people that He's called us to in this place. At River Valley, we are blessed to be partnerships with some community organizations that our people to volunteer with these organizations and the mission that God has called them to. Uh, One of those organizations is the Pregnancy Resource Center that serves women within our community in crisis situations. And we we love their work. We love their heart. And we're we're so thankful to be on mission with them. We also are on mission with the Center of Hope uh, that serves uh, people within our community that with food distribution every week, serving eight, nine hundred families within our community, which was especially vital this last year. Uh, We also serve with Fortitude Community Outreach that serves the homeless in our community as well. We serve as one of the PADS locations. Uh, This last year, the homeless were able to go to several different churches, several different buildings throughout every day of the week in the colder months uh, to find shelter and hot meals. And so we served, our church uh, served the the homeless in that way over this last, uh, last year. And we're grateful for Fortitude Community Outreach and what they are doing, the impact they're making uh, there. And we also served with Bradley East Elementary School. Uh, Several years ago, God allowed us to uh, begin a a relationship with Bradley East, and we love celebrating the teachers there and the administration and what they're doing on the front lines of serving these kids and teaching the kids and serving the families within our community. Uh, We're looking very much forward to uh, this fall having a a mentoring program in cooperation with Bradley East and serving the children, uh, especially those at risk, in a unique and, and powerful way, we believe. That's the community outreach that we're engaged with. Of course, we have missions around the world. Uh, We have a global outreach serving missionaries in various places, and many of those we have long-time relationships with and sometimes have opportunities on short-term missions to join them in their work locally and take teams uh, of people there. So we're, we're grateful for, for those long-term relationships globally in missions. And then in our church setting, in our church context, of course, we have ways in which people can engage in outreach. We have Celebrate Recovery every week on Friday night for those with hurts and hangups and habits. Uh, and that ministry has been going on for 
for about 17 years every week on Friday. We have Celebrate Recovery every week. We also have a ministry called Manifest, which is uh, just a blessed uh, ministry of our church. Manifest is a ministry to the adults with developmental disabilities. And so we serve those uh, in several group homes within our community. They bring uh, some of the residents into our building. We celebrate with them. Uh, there's teaching, there's singing, there's lots of, you know, sometimes we do seasonal activities and parties with them. And it's always a blessed time when they, several of them, can join us on Sunday mornings in our worship services. We love how they have, have taught us how to love well. They love us well and we love them well. And it is a, a beautiful relationship that God has allowed us to have with several of the residents in group homes throughout our community. Those are a few ways, uh, of course, with student ministries and children's ministries, and there's always an opportunity to, to engage in those ways as well. What I love about Christian music and specifically Shine.fm is that it's always present. It's, it's always there to draw our attention away from ourselves, sometimes away from our problems, away from the circumstances that we may be facing. And of course, uh, Christian music speaks to those, those issues, the pains that we sometimes experience, the, the hurts, the, the challenges, the struggles that we face, and applies the gospel uh, to those situations. And so I, I believe that as Christian music, music, you know, we're we're, God has placed music within our hearts. And it's one way, it's a means by which God draws us away from the attention on ourselves and draws our attention to Him and what He allows and what He can do within the circumstances and the challenges of, of our lives. But I love anything that continues to remind us of Jesus, remind us of what He's done, remind us of the cross, remind us of His death for sin, remind us of His powerful resurrection and the presence of the Holy Spirit spirit in our lives so that we may be encouraged, that we may be reminded of the hope that we have. And, and you know, I, I believe the spirit uses Christian music and shine.fm in a way to do that, to continually bring our attention back. We're very forgetful people. And I, I believe that Christian music allows us uh, along, of course, with the spiritual disciplines of word and prayer and, uh, and Christian fellowship and the gathering of the believers, all of these things that God can use powerfully in the life of the Christian to draw and remind us of who He is, what He's done, and who we are in Him. We are blessed to have Vacation Bible School uh, coming up the last week of July, the week of July 26th, and we are anticipating a, a great uh, celebration with the kids. Of course, on Sunday mornings at the gatherings, uh, people are excited to be back and be back in fellowship and relationship with each other. And, and so we, we expect VBS uh, to be a great celebration with uh, children within our church family, but also within the broader community and the friends of children. So July 26th, uh, the week of July 26th, that will be happening uh, all week long uh, in the evening. And for more information on that, you can go to our website, myrvcf.org, myrvcf.org, and learn more about that. Uh, also, on that Sunday, we always have VBS Sunday. And so they kind of take over our worship services on that Sunday to celebrate what God has done that week. Our children's director, Mike Dean, will be sharing a theme message from, from the week and what, uh, and celebrate, just celebrating what God has done through uh, VBS. Also, there's fall, we're, we've just started a, a ministry called Rooted, the Rooted Experience. It is a powerful small group discipleship experience where we gather each week together. We do a SIR project together. We have a prayer experience together, and we are in relationship. We share faith stories, and it's amazing what God has done over the last uh, several months through that ministry where we've seen people be baptized. We've seen people come into relationship with each other. They came in strangers, and they left family like family. And so it's a unique discipleship experience that uses, um, of course, the, the Word of God and the gathering uh, eat weekly together. But also, it's not just the learning of those practices. We actually practice them together. We actually serve together. We actually pray uh, together for uh, an extended time. Uh, on a Saturday, we have a two or three hour prayer experience. It, it is a, it's a wonderful time to connect with one another, to connect with God, and to connect with our purpose that He's called us to. And so we will begin the Rooted experience beginning uh, in September.